everyone so I wanted to come on here and just share with you all my nighttime routine um, for a newborn so my son is how old is he now like nine weeks I think he's nine weeks old um, so this is pretty much just our routine every night this is what we do um, so the first thing I'm gonna do is get my oldest ready he's um, he's 20 months old so I'm gonna get him ready for bed so I just kind of give him a bath he's had his dinner um, I give him a bath brush his teeth um, put his PJs on do his whole nighttime routine um, and get him ready for bed so right now I just finished feeding Luca so he's pretty chill right now and so this is my time to kind of take over with my son I'm just gonna bring you guys along with me tonight hopefully it's a good night and he sleeps really well um, he's been sleeping a lot better before he was doing like an hour two hours but now he can do at least um, three to four hour stretches just depending um, so every night is very different some nights he sleeps really well and some nights he just wants to be up and play like he wants to stay up and play uh, so tonight we'll see how it goes. Um, so I just wanted to show you what I bring with me too. I have this caddy here that I pretty much just kind of tote around with me. And I got this off of Amazon. Um, and it comes with just this sectional. The sectional I think you can just make different compartments. Um, so I'll just show you guys really quick. I have a couple of diapers in here. Some wipes. Just a couple of packs of wipes that I bring with me. This is just a... Um, a nose bulb a nose syringe I think is what it's called what is this called yeah it's you know to suck out all the boogers and stuff from his nose um, I have some diaper rash cream and then all of this here is just different ointments you know because he suffers really bad from diaper rash so I just have tons of that and Vaseline this I had when he was circumcised so I used a lot of that so that's all in here and then I have some gripe water um, yeah I know it's kind of weird I keep all the boxes but this really helps me to just kind of keep everything sectioned off and it's easier for me to find um, I also have um, a box of saline here that I need and then also this is a thermometer that's in here that's in this little bag Let's see if I can open this up yeah so it's just a thermometer that I kind of keep in here that I would need. Um, so I have this one that's like the, an electric one that you can stick in their ear. And then I also have the old fashioned one that you can stick under their arms, which this doesn't really work that well because they move around so much. But this one works really, really well. And it takes a couple seconds just to get in their ear and you can find out if they have a fever or not. So I take that and then this is just some Tylenol that I have. Um, just kind of keep that in there. I know I needed it when he got his vaccines. Uh, then his brush and his comb. And I have like nail clipper and just some like cream in here, which this is really for me. So. Um, so that's in there. Then I have some lotion for myself and this is just some oil that I keep in here. Um, so yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. And just anything else that I feel like I would need for the night, I would put that in here. Uh, so this comes in, this comes in very handy, um, at night when you're just really tired and I don't want to, you know, go through my entire house looking for stuff. So everything is just in here, everything that I need for the night. Um, and it just makes things go so much smoother. Just Ready for bed? <laughs> now put your PJs on. <laughs> Let's go give him a bath and just get ready for tonight. So I had to stop everything I was doing. Um, I 
this terrible reflux. Like, he pretty much throws up after every feeding almost. Like, just about. Um, and I try really hard not to move him too much. Um, but this is like right after he eaten and he will still throw up. That just happens every time. So I go through birth clots like crazy. Um, yes, my child is not sleeping yet. And this is just what it is. Like you have your whole night planned out and you think it's gonna go that way and then it's like, nope, it did not happen. So, uh, but that was my fault. Like I should have fed him or something before. Like usually I have it timed out, timed pretty well to where I can give him a bath and feed him and then put him to sleep because he sleeps so well after excuse you can you move now that he's a little bit more calm you know luckily i was able to just like you know wash him off really quick and i give him like a bath in the afternoon too so he was fine and get milan ready for bed too because he shouldn't be up right now but that's another story Yeah, it's time for bed. Good night, sir.